What's up? Got a good one for y'all today, man. I've been wanting to do this ever since I saw the video, and it is um, a POV of Corey Williams, nation's number one beast, as he's known on social media, from the Redlands Bicycle Classic. Now, this is stage number four, I believe. Uh, they did a circuit race. They did a road race up to Oakland. They did a time trial, and then the crit. Of course, I think the last day is the toughest day, which is Sunset Loop, but Let's stick to this video. This video is uh, pretty impressive. There's a lot of lessons uh, to be learned. So we can go ahead and just get right into it. Um, yeah, where it says where legends were born since 1985. I actually met my real, my first real pro bike racer there. Uh, his name was Davis Finney. Um, I won the 15, 16 race and then hopped in the 17, 18 race and smoked them too. So it was a good time. I never forget it. That was like the first time I really beat uh, some really big uh, juniors uh, that were there. So you can tell Legion uh, right here in the white there, uh, they're going to be going for the win today, man. They're putting all their eggs in that basket. Uh, probably, I, I wasn't there in person, but I'm, I'm sure they were uh, on the front riding probably from the start. Uh, this is a interesting little part right here. Um, one of these riders, actually, I don't know why I'm having... Uh, issues oh no i want to go back there is a spot right there right come on bro like i get it they left the door open so you're gonna take it but this is fairly early in the race he has no reason to be going in there and i'm gonna tell you the problem the problem is that luckily good riders well i think that's robin carpenter the legion needs to be when you're when you're protecting uh, your sprinter and you're doing a lead out, um, even though they're not technically doing a lead out right now, they're just riding uh, to protect Corey. You really have to commit. So if there's seven guys, the guy on the front from your team has to know exactly where to put the train, so that only the top seven, your teammates, can get in there. And so they made some mistakes there. Um, that's uh, coming up the right hand side right there. That was the current uh south african national champion who has returned i shouldn't even say return has come to the states from being in the world tour over the last i think four or five years um this i'm telling you this video had a lot of good stuff going on you can see right there number 87 had just looked over his left shoulder uh saw corey coming up why he wants to race him to the top corner, I have no idea. It's kind of a waste of energy. But these are the things that you have to deal with when you're a sprinter. There's so many things going on. It's not, you don't have the luxury oftentimes you just sit on the wheel. And there's a reason why you don't have that luxury right now. Um, Legion is by far one of the best teams in the country. I would say if they rode faster, these things wouldn't happen. But Again, you can only ride so fast, and they're, I'm sure, riding to their strengths. So it puts your sprinter, though, in, in difficult spots where he has to continue, like, you know, to fight this guy to the corner. So um, this this first corner is very, actually very interesting because it's it's kind of off camber. So you got you to come out and then swing right. So that's why you keep seeing riders diving inside because you really can't hug this barrier too much. And then as you exit the corner, the, the row kind of crowns and it's, it's not, it's not an easy, uh, corner to navigate, but I think I thought they did a great job, um, really protecting. And again, it's these, it's these riders diving inside. And the reason they're diving inside, there's two reasons. Speed's not fast enough and they're not fully committed to protecting, uh, the inside. You have to wait, 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 pop out late and then turn to the right or to the left. Um, but regardless, I mean, I think number number two or number three, I should say another good point is when when you're the dominant team, you're going to have everyone else kind of sitting behind you. They're, they're not really going to race you. Uh, you see the team in black and gold. That's the Denver Disruptors. Um, they probably you know, uh, second, third best uh, team there, and you see them often. Uh, this was fun too, watching this SoCal cycling guy uh, kind of fight and, you know, he, he turns the corner and he's like, dude, like, what are you doing, man? Just chill out, you know? There's probably like, I don't know how long to go. It's probably like 30 minutes to go. Let's see if I can see the counter here. Uh, I can't see the counter there. I see how many laps to go. But this, is, this got really good too. Um, 
this is what happens when you're not paying attention. You get jumped and uh, they had to kind of shuffle. And if I'm the director at this moment, I'm saying, you know what? Let them ride, you know? Let them ride. It gives my guys a break. We have the best crit team here. If you guys want to hit the front and ride, so be it. Um, I love these subtle moves where uh, Legion guys are not panicking, right? So they get jumped, no big deal. Guys are diving in and out, no big deal. They just kind of wait their time and buy their, buy, their, buy their time to get back to the front. So this is what happens when, again, speeds are not high enough um, and there are stronger guys still that can move towards the front. But again, this corner, you can only go so fast. So it, it creates this, um, this back blow, right? Like, so the front may be going 40, 50 Ks an hour, but as they approach the top of the hill, this is a slight uphill, the back of the field continues to come forward because they're not on the brakes yet. So it's, uh, I could sit here and say, hey, they're not going fast. Enough. They're going plenty fast. It's just that when it comes to this corner, and the way the roads are, uh, the advantage actually is for the riders that are slightly back because if they don't touch the brakes, the front group is touching the brake, the back of the field can come to the front. Um, that's Alec Cohen. Uh, he was telling them, uh, they said number one beast was telling hey, you know the plan, right? And the plan was, all right, let's boogie. We gotta get back to the front. Now this is kind of funny to me because Corey is the fastest guy out there, right? But these, this is his lead out. They went so hard, uh, they gapped him a little bit. And like, if I'm putting myself into Corey shoes, I'm saying, all right, look, I'm not gonna give 100% to get on my teammates' wheels. I'm gonna save some of those bullets. And I'll just use the downhill, which he did here after turn one, to get back. This is absolutely smart riding. You don't need to go all in. He didn't need to throw out a, a thousand plus watt effort to get back on the wheel he used the fill he also used uh the course to get himself back another thing i want to point out when he first got back there he only had three riders in front of him right this is brilliant as well this is a true team because most most guys on a team they'd be like all right i'm tired I, they look up the road they see they have three other guys in front and they will completely give up and just leave the rest of the lead out to those three guys. But as the race continues to unfold towards the end, more and more riders from Legion are getting back towards the front, giving it everything they have. I always tell my guys, like, even if you have five seconds, give me that five seconds. If you have 10 seconds, give me that 10 seconds. Um, so I think right here, <laughs> uh, Denver disruptors were trying to do exactly that, just disrupt the lead out because it wasn't really a true lead out. Now you have one guy kind of in between a whole legion team uh he looks back and see hey i'm by myself and it is three laps to go right here and uh yeah they're not messing around uh there was a key point where i knew that corey felt absolutely amazing and here's another example riders continue to come towards the front like it's not over i got a little bit left in the tank the more riders you have in front of you for Corey, for the sprinter, who whatever team you're on, uh, the better it's going to be. Um, again, even if it's five seconds, you know, that five seconds could, could be the difference between sprinting from 300 and, 300, uh, and 250 meters. So uh, I like how also look at these guys looking back, looking back, being very aware of their surroundings. Um, you know, there was a there was a race this past weekend here in Southern California, and it was so many crashes. And it's like we'll get to that later maybe i'll go over that video um but here again just disrupting the lead out disrupting everything really fighting and this is the part of the video that got me super excited because this is bike racing right here this is what it's all about no one's taking their hands off the bars they're just kind of going after each other fighting for the wheels um and again i just i'm, I'm just super excited about how legion played this now one thing i would change is there's one rider from legion stuck in between the D denver disruptors i'm on the radio from corey whoever that is i'm saying get out of the way i you don't need to be there if they want to ride the front this early let them ride the front they're basically giving me a free lead out um but you know probably didn't have time to get on the radio given the speeds i think that's boardman up there and he's got some gas so this is tricky because he could potentially 
be helping Denver disruptors uh, to a lead out when uh, when he didn't have to, I would have left these guys high and dry. Look, he's gapping these guys already on this slight uphill. It's probably about one and a half, two percent. And after a long race, you definitely feel it, specifically after uh, three three days of racing hard. So, man, I struck out on this corner twice, sitting fourth or fifth wheel, crashed uh, one time, a, a rider crashed in front of me. That was always my best chance to win at Redlands was in the crit. Uh, so, you know, you throw everything into that basket and then the crash is always sucks. So, Right now, if I'm Corey, I'm licking my chops. One, two, three, and the third person is the sprinter. He's absolutely doomed right here. And again, no need for Legion to go over the top unless Corey was getting on his wheel. I'm leaving these guys high and dry, right? I am like forcing uh, rider number one now to go hard. This is the point I knew Corey was good. He said, you know what? I'm 600 out, I'm going anyway. It wasn't that easy. He backed off, and I love this too. Most people would follow this rider, wheel for wheel, right, right behind. Not a good idea. What Corey did is set up a little bit, probably didn't even have to touch the brakes, and he's taking a better angle uh, in this corner to set himself up for two turns to go. It's not really about this turn. He's setting himself up for two more turns to go. Watch me, right? Let me go back a little bit. Watch how hard Watch how hard Denver Disruptors had to turn over. Watch. He's losing everything. He's going out towards the building there where Corey is going out uh, uh, farther to the right of the building, which is uh, a better trajectory to enter into the next corner. Right? Swoop, you could tell by the angle. Both coasting. Now, this is where the win was made. Uh, popping out so, so now he is in the slipstream of this rider but he's not going to follow this rider directly into the corner set it up it was a subtle move and i can't go back that subtly on this thing but it was a subtle move watch i wish i could slow it down but it was a subtle move right there to pop inside if you if you notice his body went like this hard and that was to make sure he got inside reason why this road is uphill it also slants towards the right, and there's a barrier up there. So the idea is to beat the person in front of you to that crosswalk, basically. And if you can do that, you're going to win. I mean, it was so many things that happened in that race that, you know, you, you really can't teach. And it's, it's all off of doing the event, doing races, uh, understanding the nuances of sprinting, and he did a great idea. I mean, he did a great ride, really great ride. So, uh, love to see more. Corey, next time, put some uh, put some uh, stats over, man. We would love to see your power, your speed. Um, I think it really uh, will encompass everything that it takes to win a big bike race.